Hey, there we go. Good morning, everybody. Oh, no audio going there. Hang on. How about that? There we go. Now we got a little bit of audio going there. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's installment of Seven Minutes in the Morning. I am your host, Tom Rigsby. When you get here, if you would do me the favor, whether you watch live or on the replay, do what Joe just did. Leave me a comment. Say hi. Let me know that you're here. You know, I've said that a few times. I need to shake that up some. So uh, how you doing this Wednesday morning? Doing great, I hope. Have my uh, cup of coffee here. It's a little more full than yesterday, so I might have a couple of more things to say. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, so yesterday on the radio, she had some trouble, uh, as we say in the biz, technical difficulties yesterday with... Uh, the broadcast of the radio show. So I didn't get to, to share that. Um, but uh, there was at least one thing there that I wanted to kind of follow up on. Yesterday's show on the radio was about FUD. Uh, fear, uncertainty, and doubt. Not Elmer the FUD, the hunter, but fear, uncertainty, and doubt, and how that can paralyze us in our decision-making. Excuse me. So... Um, And then yesterday on the podcast, I talked about expectations and the role that expectations play in high performance. And I I never got the chance. I actually probably had the chance. I didn't get around to making the connection on the radio yesterday about expectations and FUD. So I wanted to talk about that a little bit this morning um, and just give you a couple of things to think about. Um, as you get into your day and continue marching through this winter of a week. So, um, fear, uncertainty, and doubt. All fear is rooted in uncertainty, right? If we're not sure of the outcome, then that creates fear. Our brain is hardwired to protect us from danger. And that's why the fear is the first thing to come up. Um, you can mitigate the fear by mitigating the uncertainty. The the only way, there is no way to ever be 100% sure, but the best way to reduce the uncertainty is through experience. And I use the example all the time of the bungee jumper. Yesterday I talked about driving uh, from point A to point B. Whether it's from home to the coffee shop to your office, whatever, right? If you, the more often you do that, the more comfortable you become with it and the less attention you pay. Right? I mean, you're driving through, um, and uh, driving a route that you're not familiar with, you pay more attention. Is this the street? No. Is this the street? No. Okay. Right? But if you're familiar with the route, you just don't pay as much attention. You are comfortable. You don't have as much uncertainty related to the outcome, which, is a good thing, could be a bad thing, but we get comfortable. So yeah, later yesterday, I had a conversation with a guy. We were talking about a couple of businesses that we're both familiar with whose owners have become very comfortable in the way the business operates. It's not, they're not losing money. They're not breaking the bank. They're just comfortable. And uh, this person I was having a conversation with was like, why is that? Why do people get comfortable? So we were talking about you know, the role of expectations and high performance. And when we start talking about high performance, we get back into uncertainty, right? I mean, if you're performing at a certain level and you're comfortable there, to kick it up a notch creates more uncertainty, which creates more fear, which creates more, well, I don't know about this. Maybe I need to study the problem some more. Maybe I need to make better plans. Maybe I need to, maybe you just need to execute. Establish a goal and execute. So this conversation I was having yesterday afternoon where all this came up, <clears throat> he's working on opening a business. And I said, so what's your open date? Oh man, I don't know. We're still talking about this and that and the other. I'm like, write it down, commit to it. Say, this is the day we're going to start. And even if you miss it, at least you have a day that you're working toward. You know, we talked yesterday about learning to walk. We learn to walk by falling down. 
right? You learn to hit dates by missing dates. Just pick one and start. Same way with high performance. We've been talking about this week. Yeah, bungee jump, for example, exactly. So if we wait for, just like buying a PC years and years and years ago, people used to ask me, oh, you know, should I go ahead and buy this? Or, you know, they're going to have a better processor next year or, you know, more memory or, or phones. I, for crying out loud, I got one, two, three, four, five phones laying here on the desk. There's always going to be a better one. You get whatever you need for today and start, right? Set the bar and then meet the bar. If you are comfortable, it, it, then you're right back to starting again. Yes, you're ahead of those who haven't started, but you're right back in the same mindset where you're letting the comfort of the current situation dictate your actions. And that is not a high-performing place to be. That's an existing place to be. And we want to stop letting life happen to us, create the life we crave. All right, that's it for today. Enough of that. Uh, so, are you, so here's your question for the day. Are you comfortable? Are you comfortable? And if you are, what can you do to get uncomfortable? All right, that's it. It's Wednesday. I believe we're going to have the coffee shop show today, so be sure and tune in for that at 9 o'clock. Otherwise, I'll be back here with you again tomorrow at 7. Hey, listen, do me another favor, if you wouldn't mind. If you enjoy the show, if you get something meaningful from it, give it a thumbs up, give it a like, and share it in your network. Sharing it in your network is how we continue to expand the reach of this show um, to all the people who can benefit from it. I'll appreciate it. They'll appreciate it as well. All right, that's it. Talk to you again tomorrow. You guys have a fantastic Wednesday.